Uh, now, something else that we can do is I want to verify that my system allows people from outside the company to connect up, whether it's dropping off SMTP email or if it is doing something as simple as uh, trying to find auto discover, where the client needs to be able to connect up. I want to look at client connectivity. Microsoft has a really interesting website. It is called www.testexchangeconnectivity.com and it is using SSL because we're going to be sending it username and password information. We don't necessarily want that exposed, but this will allow you to go in and see, hey, can I actually hook a client to my mailbox through our firewall and through DNS and find the auto discover and be able to locate my client access server and all that. Uh, it's very, very useful. They recommend that when you run this, you don't run it with a real production mailbox, one that people are actually using, because you're having this website go into their mailbox. So they recommend that you set up a test account that nobody else uses, just a test account, and then run this test on here. Now, um, this assumes that you have your DNS connectivity set up, you have your MX records and your discovery records and all that other good stuff. So I'm not going to be able to run it against Contosa.com because the actual internet DNS can't resolve Contosa.com and point it at my exchange servers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Microsoft's uh, services, put in a bogus information and see if it will fail or what is actually going to work. So let me show you this. I'm going to fire off my web browser. So we'll say all programs, go to Internet Explorer, and again it is HTTPS, we're going to use SSL, double backslash www.test.exchange.com. And we'll give it a second. And this is actually a really cool website. And they go through on exercise uh, 9.5 and they show you uh, how to do this. Now this is for Exchange servers, Link and Office communication servers, Office 360, as well as some beta stuff with the client. And what we want to do is we want to find out if our uh, Outlook Anywhere is going to work for us. So we'll say Outlook Anywhere and it's going to walk all the stuff that we use to connect up to Outlook Anywhere and at the bottom they have the next button so we'll click the next button and we'll say email address, we'll say bgates at microsoft.com and the domain is going to be M-I-C-R-O-S-O-F-T with the username of bgates and we'll put in bgates' password so I shoulder surfed him one time while well, he was at the Bellagio, right? Now this should fail but we want to see how it works out now, um, I'm going to use Auto Discover, so we're going to test out the Auto Discover of Microsoft to see if we have the appropriate records, if they've already populated the DNS records, if I can talk to the, uh, the client access server, if the authentication is working, or if we wanted to, we could also go in and manually specify the server. And it says, warning, we are sending credentials, and this could be a problem. They recommend that you don't use a, uh, a production mailbox. Then comes the nasty part. They use this little visual thing to make sure that this isn't just a robot trying to do that. However, robots probably type better than I do, so we'll give this a shot. NXJVXSS4, which isn't one of the worst ones that I've seen. And hopefully it works. Yay! It works! And it says, notice, this is a web-based tool. The IT administrators are supposed to be there to avoid the risk of your working credentials being exploited and compromised. Don't use a production account. So I'll say perform the test and it'll go through and do our testing for us. <coughs> Excuse me. And it says the test result has expired and cannot re be retrieved. Please run the test again. So I'll run the test again. That's because I tested this before. We'll see if it'll allow me to do this. Oh, got to put in my password. And you know what I'll do is I'll change the uh, email address to sbalmer. And we'll change this to sbalmer. 
just so that it won't say, well, you just ran this a little bit ago. Why do you want to run it again? Because we want to, because it's cool. So, and again, this should fail because I probably didn't guess. Wouldn't it be trippy if I did guess Steve's uh, <laughs> password? Woo, it works. Oh, my goodness. Then the black helicopters descend. <laughs> well, that would be Apple. Apple's the one that are all paranoid about security. So this is going to check to see if we have our overall connectivity. Uh, while that's running, let me show you some uh, commandlets that we have to test functionality. We have test active sync connectivity. We have uh, edge synchronization, exchange search, IMAP, block and allow list providers, mail flow, all that other good stuff. Let me just show you one. Oh, it worked. We finished with our command. And it said, our test failed. Surprise! Let's see where it failed at. So I'm going to open up the test steps here. And it said, trying to do auto discover for S Bomber. It has failed. I'll drop it down. It says, each method, what test steps did you use? Auto discover service couldn't be connected by any method because the URL. We have a potential URL failure. So our URL isn't going to work. And then we can go into the details. Attempting to resolve the host name, autodiscover.microsoft.com. Hey, that worked. So we were able to find Microsoft.com. Testing port 443 because we're using SSL. Did that work? Yes, the port was open successfully. Then we're going to make sure that the SSL certificate is valid. This is important because with Autodiscover on a client access server, we are using secure socket layers, which means the certificate has to be trusted and it has to be non-expired. This is a common thing. People will get these certificates that are good for five years, and then five years and one day from now, all of a sudden it fails and they don't know why. This will tell them, hey, by the way, your certificate has expired. And it says, nope, everything is passed. Okay, let's check IIS to see if it's going to work. Our IIS client certificate authentication was not detected, which means I don't have a client certificate. Okay, but it says I don't have to require a client certificate. But then down here, it'll say I want to do a post request to the auto discover, and it'll say, well, wait a minute, this part failed. What part of it failed? And it said I'm trying to retrieve the XML response from this particular URL for this particular user. And it said it failed to obtain the XML response. That's telling me that for some reason, I wasn't able to download the XML to do the auto discover. Let's find out why. So I'll drop that down and it says a 401 unauthorized response. That means we have the incorrect username and password. But this tells us our DNS worked, our location for the auto discover URL worked, our SSL worked, which means our digital certificate worked. It's just that we had a bad username and password. So this is very, very useful.